did with plate 101. You'll see that I've done my workspace setup. I've changed my color to a funky color so that you can't just take a snip of my work. You have own work. Um, I've got my dynamic input on. I have my O snaps on. I'm not going to need this, but watch. I'm going to need to do one other thing. I'm going to need to right click on my dynamic input to the settings. You're going to see up here, there's a little settings thing. You want it to be Cartesian format. That's XY because on this particular one, I know XY. So that's an important thing to do before you get started. Now I need to know how big it's going to be. And I'm going to let you know it's going to fix it in a box. It's 11 wide by 8 and a half tall. So I start at 0, 0. And I'm going to draw 11 wide at 8.5, 8 and a half up. And that's where my picture is going to fit. Now let's see what I have to draw. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here and show this. I went to get my plate one, clicked on it, and it came up. And so then I downloaded it and watch. I can take that and I'm going to hold my left button down, move it in, and voila, it shows up. I can make it kind of size and I just click, click, and make this big again. And there we go. I've got what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to start at this point. It tells me start here, three comma two. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to choose to use my dynamic input and go over two, up 0.5, over 1.82, down 0.5, there, point there. You can see it's giving me these these directions and these dimensions. I can just keep drawing as I go. Up 1.34. Now, this one I don't really know because there's no dimension on it, but it's 1.5 minus 1. It's over. 0.5. And this one. It's two across and it goes halfway, so it's going to be one over and 1.3 down. One over, 1.3 up. And they're all going like that until this one's kind of weird. It's either going to be one over, 1.06 down, or I can start back here again and go up and over. And use my O snaps to draw from endpoint. Let's see how that works. I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to start at comma two, enter. I'm going to just drag my mouse to the side and type two, enter, up, asking polar. Five here. Here. Six here. Oh, four. Over five over point five comma nope that's one one comma minus one point four gonna go oh look it went one to the right because I put in plus one. I do that on purpose so that you can. So I have to go from here. I have to go minus one 
comma, that means it goes to the left, minus 1.64, that means it goes down. And now I'm going to go minus 1, that's to the left, and I'm going to go, oops, and I hit enter. Minus one, comma, one point four. And then I'm just dragging in the door. I think that one goes one over one point five eight down. Point five down point five over one point five. Down, oh, that's a weird one. Point eight and back over. This is where I'm going to hit enter again just to finish the command. Type line again. This is where my O snaps are helpful. I can get that little green box shows me I'm on the line. Five. One point five. And then back. There we go. That's it. Now, I can leave this here if I want. It's okay. It doesn't hurt me at all. It's ready to turn in. Cool. So now we have to do a little bit of work. Go to the A, File, Save As. And you don't want it in documents. You have to put it somewhere where it will stay. And that's under your W number drive. Your W number. Okay, and probably need here's a summer 2022. I probably want to make a new folder for just to make things easier for me. And then this is plate point. And you can put your initials after it if you. Go. Yeah. Now, you're going to need to have some stuff to put in your weekly summary. I'm going to show you something. You can turn your line weights on. It's, it's not very dark, right? You might want it to show up darker. Let me show you. Two. Highlight all of these. Click. Drag it. Click. And then right click properties and you can change the line weight. Just make it something thicker. There we go. I didn't tell you to do anything with it yet. It's fine. We don't have to do any settings. Just go until it makes it thicker. But now when you do your nip tool, I'm gonna and snip and I oh, that darn thing always shows up. There we go. There I've got a nice snip and I can save that. Also in that W number drive you all have that. Anything saved anywhere but your W number drive gets erased. As soon as you log out. There you go. That is how you do plate 1.1.